Hi boys and girls, Miss Lehman here today to read some more of Stink and the World Super Stinky Sneakers. <clears throat> when we last left off, we were on Eau de Corpse Flower. On Saturday morning, Stink could not wait to start his new career. He set up his lab in the kitchen sink. He, let out, he laid out tweezers and eyedroppers on a towel. He lined up ten empty little spice jars on the counter. He collected a whole jar of real toilet water from the toilet. Perfect! The doorbell rang. Hi, Eliz. I mean, Sophie of the Elves, Judy said. Come on. Dr. Frankenstink is in his lab. Stink! Your friend with the uh, funny name is here. Stink came out of the kitchen wearing mom's apron and green rubber scrub gloves. Hi, Sophie, said Stink. Stink's making stinky perfume, Judy explained, drawing circles in the air for a cuckoo sign. Want to help, Stink asked? Sure, said Sophie. I like making magic potions and stuff. Magic potions, said Judy. You mean love potions? Let's go, said Stink. Maybe we can make some potions that turn big sisters into warthogs. Back in the Frankenstein lab, Stink got out Mom's measuring cups and spoons. Sophie stirred together spices and food coloring. Are you entering the smelly sneaker contest next Saturday? She asked Stink. Definitely, said Stink. Me too, Sophie said. Stink looked down at Sophie's sneakers. They were bad, all right. Her toe poked out of one. The laces were almost black, and the tongues hung sideways, worse than a slobbery dock. They smell like a swamp, said Stink, even though he knew his stinkers could beat hers any day. And they aren't even my worst pair, Sophie grinned. thought Stink. Well, I sure hope one of us wins, Sophie said. Yeah, and I hope the one of us is me, Stink joked. Here, add some toilet water, Stink said, pouring the water from the toilet into the blender. They added green pickle juice. They added P.U. garlic. They added slimy dead flower water. Disgusting, said Sophie, staring at the ooey green murk in the blender. Hmm, what else stinks around here, asked Stink. Besides you, said Judy, walking past the kitchen. Hardy har har, said Stink. This potion smells bad, but it's not even close to a corpse flower, said Stink. He ran upstairs and came back down in a flash, holding up a small amber glass vial. Toad food. Tofu? asked Sophie. Tofu doesn't smell. No, toad food. Actually, it's dead shrimp eggs from my science kit. Even Toadie won't eat it. Stink shook the bottle till it was empty, then pushed the buttons on the blender. Mix, whip, puree, liquefy! Stink and Sophie watched the twisting tornado of green gunk whip itself into a frothy frenzy. Off! Perfect, said Stink, peering into the foamy blender. In no time, they had ten whole bottles of putrid perfumes lined up and down the counter. Let's label them and give them names, said Stink. How about Eau de Corpse Flower? It's French. Essence of Toad, said Sophie. Venus de Stinko, said Stink. Just then, Mouse crept into the kitchen. She took one whiff, let out a yell, and bolted outside through the cat door. Stink handed Sophie an eyedropper. Help me fill this little vial, said Stink. Sophie squeezed the last drops from the blender into the teeny tiny bottle, then screwed the cap back on. She helped Stink tie a piece of string around it, looping it over his neck. What are you going to do with that perfume? asked Sophie of the elves. Keep away vampires? Keep away sisters, said Stink. Stink's stinky facts. Want to smell like the circus? 
Try a perfume called Zing. Soon you'll be wearing the Zing of peanuts, sawdust, and elephants. If you want to smell like a tree, there's a perfume for that too. Or candy, or believe it or not, dirt. Ew. Next chapter. Unidentified flying odor. P.U. said Judy coming into Sing's room. Did you take a bath in that stinky perfume or something? Or something, said Stink. Then I hate to tell you, but you have a UFO in your room. Do not, said Stink. Not the alien kind of UFO, said Judy. An unidentified flying odor. I can smell it from my room. Stink kicked his sneakers under the bed. Stink, it's those sneakers. You're stinking up the whole house with those yucks. You have to get them out of here. Stink tossed his sneakers into the hallway. That's even closer, said Judy. I can already smell them up on my top bunk. Even Mouse is about to pass out from the fumes. Stink went back to his desk and scribbled on a piece of paper. He came out into the hallway and tacked up a sign over his sneakers. Beware, Hall of Fumes. Ha ha, very funny. Like that really helped, said Judy, pinching her nose closed and talking in a funny voice. Then just shut your door, said Stink, like this. He slammed the door on purpose. Stink heard Judy stomp into the bathroom. Stink heard Judy slam the medicine cabinet door. Stink heard Judy rattle around in the hall. Stink could not concentrate on drawing comics. He could not read the T for Toads encyclopedia. He could not hear himself think with all that stomping and slamming and rattling. Stink opened his door. A cloud of white dust attacked him. He coughed and waved his hand in front of his face. Stink could hardly see his sister. Judy had powder in her hair and on her face and all the way down to her shoes. She looked like a human marshmallow. She looked like the abominable... <laughs> a bottomable snow girl. She looked like a cumulus cloud. What's with all that powder? Stink asked, still coughing. Then the cloud cleared. The dust settled. And Stink saw it. Oh no! Screamed Stink. My sneakers! My beautiful, smell, smelly, super smelly stink sneakers! It's okay, said Judy. The powder will help. It'll soak up the smell and they won't stink so bad. No, you don't get it, said Stink. I was stinking them up on purpose so I could enter them in the all-time world's worst super stinky sneaker contest. How could you not know that? How could you forget? Oops said Judy. Stink did not know what to do. Now his perfectly smelly sneakers were not perfect at all. They were perfect for winning an air freshener contest. They were perfect for winning a not stinky perfume contest. No way were they going to beat Sophie now. Go get mom, said Stink. It's an emergency, a super stinky sneaker emergency. Trust me, Stink. All the powder in the world could not make those puppies smell good again. They smell even worse now, if you ask me. Kind of sweet, but um, kind of sour. Sweet and sour sneakers. I mean, they still make me gag and almost want to barf. Almost is not good enough to win, said Stink. They have to have at least a double gag factor. A triple, quadruple barf factor. Why don't we just smell them up more, said Judy. Operation Smelly Sneakers. We could pour vinegar on them or pickle juice. We could throw them in the garbage for a while. Wait, I know. I got it. <coughs> Judy snapped her fingers. We could use a bottle of your stinky perfume. That would be cheating, said Stink. The rules say you have to stink them up by wearing them. Pickle juice is illegal. Garbage doesn't count. And stinky perfume is definitely against the rules. Do the rules say what to do if um, your big sister goofs up? The rules say you better run, said Stink. He chased his sister down the hall and into the bathroom and out of the bathroom and down the stairs and into the kitchen and around the table, holding out his vial of anti-sister stinky perfume all the while. Stink, super stinky facts.
walking spaghetti. Powder may help stinky sneakers, but if you get sprayed by a skunk, most people tell you take a bath in tomato juice. Does it work? Not really, but your nose will get tired of smelling skunk and start smelling tomato, so at least you'll think it works. What is going to happen next, and what is Stink going to do? He doesn't have any shoes to enter in the contest now. Will Sophie of the Elves win? I guess we'll find out next time. Have a great afternoon.